Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD. So, BTS. Ooh. So now that they've stopped giving us new content, except that they we haven't, can, we can well, <laughs> but we can go. We can go back to. We have literally got Jim in solo coming. We can, yeah, but that's not yet. Yeah, so it's fine. Yeah. So right now we can, we'll spin and look at something else. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's nice to mix it up with new content and old content. Yeah. Especially when the new stuff links into old stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's my turn. Okay. To spin the wheel. Okay. I will get. I feel like it needs a, like, a proper name. The wheel of something. BTS, it doesn't sound like just the wheel of BTS. It needs something more glamorous. Well, anybody that's been watching us for a while just knows what the wheel is. And it even had a little, like, game show. Wheel. I wonder how you say wheel in Korean. I bet it sounds a lot better than just wheel. Oh, this isn't another coconut issue, is it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you say wheel in Korean. I'm sorry. That was a bigger spin than I intended it to be. <gasps> ballads. Okay. Yeah. It's my favourite. What are we watching? So, for ballad... Um, I've been wanting to do more of the Japanese ones for a while. So this is going to be an original uh, Japanese one from their uh, album Face Yourself, which was like 2018. Um, and it's called Crystal Snow. And it's basically um, about... It's it's known as like the sister song to Spring Day because oh, it's okay. about the, the fragility and um, the... How, how basically how like love can be like snow like it can't last forever and you know that oh, yeah. but it's precious and so you yeah. don't want to you know and all things like that mm. so yeah it's just um it's a really nice um song uh written and composed by some uh, other writers and composers that they worked with i think it was actually released through sony music japan it's okay it's really really popular in japan like they yeah. got um they got on their charts and everything with this song like that they got so much recognition which was unusual at the time for an artist who wasn't Japanese oh, okay so the Japanese fans really Japanese army really really liked it were you drawn to this because it snowed here this week no <laughs> I just it said ballad and I was like oh we haven't done this one well, I'm just listening to you talk so. about how precious and fragile snow is and I'm sitting here thinking I hate snow no yeah no <laughs> I, I was like no so pretty to look at but when you need to go somewhere I was oh like, yeah oh. I love snow on a like a day when I don't have to go anywhere mm. I can look outside whilst wrapped in a duvet and be like mm, isn't that pretty yeah and I have to go somewhere but when you have to go to work and stuff it's not it. helpful yeah also a lot of other countries who have proper snow oh yeah they have things in place for that the UK does not we have a bit of snow and everyone panics and like yeah. it doesn't you know the trains stop and everything and but yeah it's, it's quite embarrassing get, like, loads of nice snow we get like a layer of snow that quickly just turns into muddy slushy slippery stuff mm. but it is very pathetic there's countries out there like but like people can from canada who probably yeah. get so much snow that are like you guys are pathetic so so no uh that was not <laughs> um it was yeah just wanting to Although do crystal the original snow bullets. makes me think of like icicles or you know in frozen when they're walking through the trees and there's like the little mm. droplets hanging off. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, in that theme, you could say like every single icicle is almost like as unique as a fingerprint. Yeah. And it's like if you try and catch one and it's like, you, you know, it's precious because it, it won't last forever yeah. and it's very fragile and things like that. So you've got to be careful with it. Yeah. No, I think there's lots of metaphors that come out of it. But ultimately, I just really like this song as um, a lovely song. And it's uh, it's got really nice vocals and... It's one that you just gotta hear. Is it all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all of them. So, um, it's a. I managed to find a live performance with subs on it. So, oh. yeah. so please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments. Do you get snow in your country? And what's your snow like? Is it rubbish like ours? <laughs> I'm seeing harnesses. Is that a choker on our end? Yeah. I love his hair like that.
have these dogs. Holding all the things I want to say. I'm I'm having trouble with the contrast of a very lovely song mm. and the amazing vocals in it. Mm -hmm. They look so hot. <laughs> that was so confusing. <laughs> Which is why I was holding my comments because. <laughs> mm. Let's talk about the song first. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. The vocals in it. I mean, it was vocal heavy, mm. not much of the rappers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. It's like they all had a, a moment to hit like a bigger, longer note. Yeah. In times. I mean, Jin. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And Tay was singing in what feels like his more 
comfortable tone. Like, mm-hmm. I don't feel like he was seen in a... I've, we've heard him deeper, I think, more. Yeah. And he, he did go higher in places, but it just felt very mm-hmm. naturally. Yeah. Yeah, which was nice. Yeah, that song's really nice because... Um, which sounds silly to say because you should... A lot of well-written songs have this arrangement anyway yeah. of deeper voices mixed with, you know, mixed with higher yeah. ones. But that's a really good song at making you feel the highs yeah. and the lows within the tones of voices it's a very rich song for all of those sounds yeah which is really nice i see jk um, sounded lovely mm. i will admit um it could have been to do with the vocal it could have been to do with jk mm-hmm. but at the end there when he said baby i literally got goosebumps right down my spinal cord it was just like oh about that <laughs> well, but he says can i do your one no he just like, said baby <laughs> <laughs> he says, I only just going to be your one. And I, I mean, so. I, I don't like to be called baby or babe or anything like that, but he said baby and I felt that down the goose last time I was fine. <laughs> um, it, it was because of the vocal, it was, it was the way it sounded. Yeah, That's all whatever. Um, Everyone knows you're perverted. And, and, but Jimmy, I think, really shone in they, this one. The thing that I think maybe might be lost on people who... I don't know if, you, if you've never seen anything else or, or but but again any singer no matter how good you are you're using this is why the voice will always be my favorite instrument I will die on that hill mm. because there's so many contributing factors literally down to your hormone levels your hydration levels how much sleep you got the night before mm. certain factors in the environment how dry is the air the temperature things like that that you cannot control it's not the same as picking up a guitar that you keep in good in, yeah. in, in good condition it's gonna sound the same every time your voice literally is it's basically there's so many contributing factors to how well you can use yeah. it or not so the fact that that literally sounds like the produced track oh, does it so that's yeah. they're like their vocals on that was uh, were amazing everyone sounded so solid and it was fantastic so it's a really good compliment to them that you look at that and kind of be like oh yeah you know it's no big deal. they make yeah. it look like it's no big deal because you know they were so comfortable doing it but they're, what they did there to you know it was so clear it was fantastic yeah really good so I think every, you're right everyone sounded so good and so for me I, I love that version of that performance because mm. I think it's not only are they they sound perfect mm. um, but it just it's so stripped back and just so yeah. vulnerable and so bare and they're just it's so simple that they're just you know uh, and Jim, it's lovely he was doing that thing where he's hitting a note and then he's going up and he goes up, up and, and I'm like yeah why why don't we see this more gin mm. why why are you keeping this this is this is why yeah. some people especially gin stands they're like don't sleep on gin he's don't got lie. more to give but now i feel a bit like gin why have you been hiding this from me this whole time what else are you hiding from me gin <laughs> well like we saw it was really... i feel like i've been lied to <laughs> this is why we it's well we know you know it's from epiphany like yeah. you know from his solo so you, yeah this is why he's they're they're amazing so yeah, I love it. And the line that always makes me tear up is just like, can I hold you one more time before you yeah. disappear? Because you could say that for anyone. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be someone you've lost or just that knowing mm. of, I want to keep this and I know it can't last well, sorry forever. Sorry to be sad and morbid, but you never know when you see someone if that will be the last time. Yeah. You, know, you never know. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's like they, that song is such a balance of, understanding the preciousness and loving that but at the same time they're almost already in their sorrow that it's gonna go away yeah and so it's it's like yeah and it's it's like a painful song but it's it's really lovely sorry if i didn't mention it that song was was written and produced and made by some wonderful um but rm rm wrote and produced it with them as well of course who was in a choker I feel like RM has the control issues that I have. I'm going to make you a song. Okay, but I'm going to supervise. I'm going to su- I'm going to- <laughs> that's why his name's on everything. It's not yeah. like... <laughs> it's because he needs to know. Yeah. Maybe that's why. But I actually thought during that, which... Um, I do get this thought whenever I watch the Japanese ones, but it, it just cropped up then, is that, again, I'm just like such respect to, to any of them singing in another language, yeah. and but rapping as well, because obviously it was like, you know, you go faster yeah. when you're rapping. And I was just like, Wow. That's so cool. Like, I wonder how much they practice. So, I'm pretty cool because you hear me sing along to the BTS stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> my Korean I can, is spot I, on. I can confirm that's neither Korean nor <laughs> Japanese. It is 
uh, an inaudible yeah. language <laughs> in and of itself. But hey, you're having a good time. Yeah. That's all that matters. Um. So, uh, who do I start with? Who, who do you want me to start? With? Wherever you want. Well, J.K. opened the song, so we will start with J.K. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they all. So um, they all look lovely. This is pre sleeve. Yes. Oh yeah. One thing I will say for all of them is I was looking at them thinking. I wouldn't say that they have like bulked up or anything, mm-hmm. but they looked so much skinnier then, like than they do now. I think it's just an age thing. Mm, could be. That they've yeah. matured. They yeah. all just look. I mean, there's the obvious that J.K. has hit the gym and R.M. Yeah, but yeah. all of them, even Jin, you're like, mm. you look mm. bigger, more solid. Good. Yeah. So J.K. There was a particular camera shot, and I was like, I appreciate that camera shot because I'd be getting that camera shot because I've mentioned it before. When JK wears, like, tight black jeans, mm. you can't be just that back shot. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what I mean. I, I just... <sighs> It's either the back shot or the front with the thighs. Yeah, the thighs, but... They're pretty good. Yeah. But the back shot when you get the thighs as well. Mm. Like, I really do think he was... I don't often get an urge to bite. But he, JK's was, thighs... he wasn't helping himself because it's, like, messy hair. Yeah, the hair. really good. The messy hair. I love the messy hair. And he just, yeah, he sounded beautiful. Yes. I'm going to say that you, who who knows, you could have you could have found them even more attractive because you were like, oh, well, this is a really touching song, but they're hot and I don't understand that the battle within me. Maybe they were even more hot because they were being that little bit of vulnerable. I do like vulnerable. And they were, you know. <laughs> so, so wrong. <laughs> Stop incriminating yourself. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Yeah. As in, People say it's attractive if uh, a, a guy can show his feelings, yeah. and maybe that's why, because there they all are standing there looking manly and lovely, and yet they're bearing their soul, and maybe that kind of added to it. He didn't have a harness. No, JK just had the, the white tee, think tucked in jeans. That was for the best. No, oh, would that have been too much? <laughs> it would have been too much because let's talk about Jimmy. Yeah. That, that harness was around the waist. Oh, he had the harness you can just grab. Mm. That's all I could think about. <laughs> Your security's worst nightmare. He. <laughs> Jimin looked. He was. Perfection. He looked lovely. Just that. I, as much as I like seeing the skin, mm. it's the high neck. Oh my god, the mm. high neck on the top. Well, didn't I say to you mm. when we watched Vibe with Taeyang, do you remember I said my favourite shot of Jimin was in that yeah. white polo neck? I was yeah. like, oh my god, that's bringing back 90s R&B and he had the black vibes. fluffy hair and he just mm. looked delicious. Yeah, he looked and sounded great. Let's finish off the, the matinee line with oh. Tay. His hair his was hat. a little bit longer. Yeah, his hair was a little bit longer underneath it. It's cute. And he had like a shirt on top. He looked very comfy cash. Yeah, yeah. And again, I like that. It was yeah. theme styling for all of them, but yeah. they were all different and it was nice. I wonder whether that's why I feel like his voice felt like more just a norm, like, I say normal, where it would just naturally sit if he just decided to sing something. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because he also looked comfy at home. Your posture and what's happening yeah. with your body does have a massive impact on the sound you make for singing. So yeah, it would make sense that... It was a nice, relaxed, just set yeah. point for him that he was singing in. It was good. The hat was everything. It looked very cute. Yeah. And again, he sounded so good, so clear. Can you see him like with that hat on though, with a British accent? <laughs> <laughs> I could see him trying yeah. to do a British accent. Oh, which I will also point out that when J.K. said "Crystal Snow" at one point, mm. the accent that mm. he has when he's saying it, I was like, oh. Loved their accents <laughs> when, they, when they say things in English, never lose it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we like their accents. Yeah, um, okay, J Hope. Yeah, he looked lovely. J-Hope he had like the little wavy, messy hair. Should wear harnesses at all times, it looks good on they him. They really suit it's really good, they really do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, he also had the messy hair like JK's, mm, like the little perm, like, mm. yeah. Good. You got the permed hair, the harness, and then that smile. That's mm. just like a killer combo. <laughs> that outfit, though, for for or for any of them, but we're talking about J Hope, that outfit is almost like 
if you just looked at him before any music or anything, you were like, I literally don't know what type of you I'm going to get right now. Yeah. You could either go soft or you could go savage. What's it going to be? Yeah. yeah. Well, I did J-Hope's uh, photo book recently. Mm. And that was very much the concept of lovely, pure, innocent. With the long hair. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and then he went... And then into the fire. He turned into a hality. Jesus. <laughs> Man. Loved yeah. it. My favourite picture that I saw, I don't even know if it went into the book or not. I haven't seen the book, but I just saw some pictures yeah. online. It wasn't even while he was doing the shoot. It was when he was looking into the camera, reviewing his pictures from the shoot. <laughs> he was standing there. He just looked so boss. I was like, oh my gosh. So, weird. But yeah, you do, he could have gone either way with the harness yeah. and the hair and whatnot. But in this one, he went softer. He chose yeah. to be kind to us. Yeah. <laughs> um... We've got RM. RM. Um, he looks so yummy. What is it about a choker? Mm. But he's got a, quite a long neck because he's he's yeah. tall, isn't he? So it just emphasises yeah. that you're like, oh. And he looked very lean in this compared to like how he's bulked up now. He did, yeah. Right yeah. now, it makes it makes he's him look moved. young, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So. Really cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he looked lovely sounded great i liked the color of his hair actually none of them none of them had un, like unnatural hair colors as it were like no, no blues or greens yeah, it, was or all, it was all browns and blacks yeah, yeah which was really nice yeah yeah i really felt when he was rapping he said like crystal snow crystal snow and it really felt like i don't know it just something about it really made me pay attention mm. well he has that effect. Do you know what i mean <laughs> he has that effect and he had braces, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Braces and a choker. Although with all the harnesses and in particular the braces, mm. I just want to see the bit of before they came on stage when they were all standing there going ping, ping to each Still other. Snapping <laughs> each other, yeah, I wonder. Um, my youngie. Mm. Now my man was like, I'm not getting in on his braces and his harnesses. I'll go a jumper on top. We're in a, <laughs> yeah. A granddad Steve, Steve is what Pull they call over. it. Yeah. yeah. Cute. But it suited him, it, it does. Did. And it didn't actually look out of place. No. In the styling, so yeah. it worked. Just good. He looks soft and flat. He has resting bitch face as well. Yeah. We were saying we suffer from that. But yeah, because yeah. when he's there, it's like he's waiting for his turn and he's probably listening and pay attention. Yeah. But he looks so like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> <laughs> he has resting bitch face. Yeah. Well, I feel like I can't tell in those moments whether he's just really like listening to the lyrics mm. feeling it mm-hmm. or whether he's like just looking at the crowd and is that kind of realisation moments of wow mm. this is yeah big or whether he's mentally thinking of what he's having for dinner who knows because I've said that before that the way that BTS are when they perform part of me thinks oh it must be so hard to remember all that choreo and everything and Erin and I were joking that they're probably being like I'll get some chicken later. Yeah, like, who, who knows? <laughs> well, they never miss a beat, so we exactly. cannot judge them. Whatever they're doing, yeah. fantastic job. That would be a question I'd like to ask them. Mm. When you are performing and you're doing that choreo, what is actually going through your head? Like, are you thinking about your choreo, or is it so second nature you're thinking about dinner? <laughs> and note that it always revolves around food, as to where I think mine's must go. Oh. Gin. Mm. Again, the white t-shirt and and the little yeah yeah. I think Erin would like that. Oh yes, yeah, she would. Add a bow tie and that'd be it. <laughs> um, again, he looks so lean. Yeah. Because I wouldn't say that Jin had bulked up, but when you look at that, yeah. compared to now. Yeah, you- yeah he, uh, he sounded really good. Um, and his voice has... His voice is very emotive. Yeah. And very vulnerable. And so he's... Uh, which is why, like, looking at his songs, he's perfect for ones like Epiphany. Hmm. Because he, yeah, that's a really nice sounding voice. Makes you feel something. And hitting them notes, so clean. Very good. Yeah, so lovely song. JK and Jimmy are neat sort of They're just rude. They're rude. They're all rude. Disrespectful. Too expensive for you. (laughs) Expensive Mm. in just plain white (laughs) t-shirts. Literally. So that was our reaction to BTS Crystal Snow. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.